This video is brought to you by the one and only Squarespace. From online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the perfect place to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Hello, hello, welcome back to CGTV. More specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode five of my Targa restoration series. Today, you join me as I tackle the paint on the car. I'm actually going to head into the spray booth today with my Targa, and we're gonna get cracking. Outside here, somewhat topical for this channel, we've actually got a pair of 912s. This is actually owned by a friend of mine and someone that works in the automotive industry, uh, Mr. Simon Jessup, and also they've got this 912 here. I know nothing about this car, other than the fact it looks absolutely fantastic. What I love about these 912s, they all look so different. You've got fog lights on the front of that one, no fog lights on the front of that one. That's a left-hand drive, got some headrests in there, different wheels, it's just cool. Anyway, I'm getting distracted, so let's head in then. I'm gonna crack on. Cool old Triumph there. You all know what's going on at this point, you know where we are. So here we go then, we're going in the paint booth. It's a little bit noisy out here, but it gets quieter inside. So as I said before, they are actually replacing this paint booth. They've got one at the port. However, here it is, my Targa ready to paint. And Marek's back on the channel, ladies and gentlemen, by popular demand, here he is, the man at the moment. So here is my Targa, ready for paint. All taped up, and we're actually gonna get spraying. We've decided against giving me the spray gun because um, it's just gonna give him more work to do because I'll invariably mess it up. So, I'm just gonna come around the front here. I need to put my mask on, hold on. We are ready to roll. So let's, let's get going then, I don't know if you can hear me. Are you ready? Number three, you are literally watching paint dry at this point. Right, time for lacquer. It's lacquer time. Right then, mask is now off and you can definitely hear me now. So where I've just left it, it's had its first coat of clear coat. It's gonna get its second coat of clear coat. Marek's gonna assess what it looks like and then leave it to dry. And then there's gonna be the buffing process and all that and whatnot afterwards. It's really cool actually to see this in progress. This is a car in here that I'm not actually planning on getting rid of. Unlike a lot of my cars where I know there's gonna be a limited time span, this is actually a car I plan on giving to my kids. And I don't even have kids yet, so there's gonna be quite a while, I hope anyway. It's really cool to see it being done. And also, it's exactly the same paint as is on my Carrera GT. Again, a really, really cool thing. So that then is that. And Marek is also saying as well, this is a relatively simple-ish paint to put on compared to, uh, you know, your triple layer paint. Some of these triple layer paints, they have to do about 12 different coats or even more than 12 coats in total because some of them, uh, he was talking about uh, a certain triple layer yellow. You have to put a white coat on and then a yellow coat and then a pearl coat. It just gets chaotic. So he was actually relatively happy with this one being solid black. There's no metallic in it whatsoever. You just got your primer and then you've got your paint. So uh, relatively simple on the scheme of things. But however, very satisfying to watch, very interesting to watch. And I hope you found it interesting as well. Stay tuned for the next episode 
where we see what the car looks like and we take it over to the other section of Rint where we get onto the interior, we get onto the engine and we get onto the final stage of the car. So thank you so much for following this series. Hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you all very soon. Bye guys. Now, as I mentioned at the start of the video, this video was brought to you by the amazing Squarespace. If you've ever dreamed of starting a website, whether that's an online business, or whether that's a passion project, Squarespace is the perfect place to do just that. They give you all the tools to build an amazing website, be it for business or for pleasure, or the best combo, a mix of both. They've got loads of different tools at your disposal, and we'll run through a few of those now. So the first one that I touch on loads and loads of times, if you run an e-commerce business, email campaigns are so, so key. They allow you to build amazing, effective email campaigns. Another really cool feature is the membership aspect as well. You can create members areas and private members within the website really, really easily. That's really key to build value in your business and establish a sense of community as well. And speaking of building value, you can also build in subscription models into your business as well, as I have done with Crep Chief Notify. Another really important thing that most people don't clock when starting a website is most websites are actually viewed on your mobile phone. So Squarespace actually enable you to build a mobile and desktop version of the website concurrently that looks amazing on both. Really, really important. So if you're curious and you want to see how easy it is to start your new website, start your new project, start a new business, hit the link below and you'll get 10% off your first website with Squarespace. You've got to hit that link below and use the code right there. Please do keep sending in your websites, your blogs and whatever you're creating. I love seeing what you guys and girls are up to and I have a little nose around and offer my feedback as well on that. So please do keep sending them to me via DM. I love seeing what you guys and girls are up to. So hit the link below, get involved, over and out.